In the introduction to the Strategy Builder, we saw how to drag and drop conditions onto buy and sell rules to create a complete trading strategy. We saw that indicator references in the conditions were automatically plotted, and that we can even make a strategy buy multiple positions in the same stock. In this video, we're going to learn how to enable a strategy's parameter sliders and how to use stop limit entry and exit rules. Using the strategy we created in the previous lesson, let's start by exposing sliders for some of the strategy parameters by clicking the slider icon next to the parameter name. And let's do the same for the RSI cell condition. It's likely that you'll use the same RSI period for both the buy and sell rules. So since we have two parameters named period, it's best to modify their names to avoid ambiguity. In a rules-based strategy, we don't have control over a slider's range or increment, but by clicking on the parameter, you can precisely enter the value that you want to use, even if it's outside the pre-programmed range. When you use the slider for the first time, you'll get the message about using the optimize link. Ignore this for now. Optimizing is another topic completely, and you shouldn't optimize without having more control of parameter ranges and increment. Either way, you'll quickly agree that changing parameter values with sliders is much more comfortable than going back to the rules view each time. Let's close the RSI strategy and investigate some stop limit entry and exit rules, both of which require prices at which to trigger. Search here for the stop limit order types for the most common strategies. For example, say you want to buy at limit on the 5 day low. The basic buy at limit order only gives the option to buy on the preceding day's price. Instead, you can find the required order in channel breakouts. Let's add a limit exit on an 8-day high and just for fun a trailing stop and run the strategy. Internally, WealthLab plots the limit and stop prices, the green and red dots, with a plot stops function. You can see how the buy at limit price follows the 5-day low channel and after entering a position, the 10% trailing stop is active until exiting the position. As another example, let's create a crossover entry strategy with a bracketed limit target and stop loss exit. First, we'll add a buy at market order and then a bracketed exit, changing the initial stop to 5%. Next, let's add a moving average crossover entry condition and run this on AXP. Here's a crossover and its entry at market on the next bar. The strategy shows that the initial 5% stop is active and the level at which the trailing stop will be activated. Just like we wanted, the trailing stop follows new higher closes until the profit target is hit. You can certainly add conditions to stop limit orders too. Going back to our 5 day low limit entry strategy, we generated 151 trades with Apple over the last 10 years with some rather mixed results. But what happens if we make sure that the 100 day exponential moving average is rising before we buy a 5 day low? Now the strategy creates only 106 trades, in essence filtering 45 trades, and the raw profit results improved significantly. Continue to the next Strategy Builder lesson to see how to access and modify a rules-based strategy code in the editor. Thanks for coming.